Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. If you can't hear me, I have to apologize for that. My, in the last couple of videos, uh, some of you guys said that you couldn't hear me too well. My voice is kind of going. Um, I've got some type of a cold, and it's starting to ease up a little bit, but um, I can still feel it in my in my throat and my voice. I got the SOB guitar polished up. Uh, I used a buffer instead of doing it by hand, and the one thing that sucks about doing uh, rubbing compound and, and buffing is you wear a good portion of it on your clothes. It just slings the shit all over the place. In some cases, you get the shit in your mouth, too, if your mouth's open, if you're buffing. Uh, anyways, here she is. Angle it towards everything that's on the wall, and you can kind of see a reflection clear as day of all the CD stand that's over there and the paper and, you know, shit like that. Uh, the reflection of the light going through it from one end to the other. No waves. And pretty fucking flat throughout the whole thing. Now, I still have to go over it with a hand rub and get it done and over with as far as uh, the polishing process goes. Um, the back of it is basically going to stay like a flat black, uh, flat uh, matte finish. And I just got to clean up the rubbing compound that's around the edges. Now, this is the first time that I tried bursting with an oil-based stain. And I don't think you can burst when oil-based stain. Um, the last time I tried doing uh, the burst and stuff, I used watercolors. and Or it was more of a dye that you add to water. You can make any custom color you want. And um, it worked out perfect. I had no problems with trying to burst it, uh, uh, getting the flame maple to pop out and everything else. It worked out really good. This oil base is a little bit different. Um, I can't, couldn't get the oil-based stains to kind of melt into each other. So where it would look dark and then go from the black into the red uh, fading it, it didn't want to work. It, I just had a hell of a time doing it. And after buffing it out, after the clear is on there and buffing it out, I can really see it didn't work too well. Um, I don't think it's okay. Um, I don't know if you guys would or not, but to me it's just eh, not right. Um, I can just tell. I can just see it. You guys I may not be able to see it in the camera the way you guys are seeing it, but I can see it. It's a lot lighter. It's darker at the edge and lightens up too quickly. And it didn't burst the way I thought it would, put it that way. So next time I start doing anything that's going to be a burst, I'm going to stick with the, the water dyes that I was using before. Um, they were just a hell of a lot easier to work with. Uh, drying time was a lot quicker. And you can mix any custom color that you wanted to. So I think that's what I'm going to stick with. I'm going to order another uh, case, uh, well, packet or whatever you want to call it, of the dyes that I was using. Um, that's it. That's all I got to say. The neck is still being finished up, uh, working on. I got Once I go over this with the hand rub, uh, I'll probably start cutting out the controls for it um, and drilling the holes for the uh, string through and putting the string ferrules back on. But that's it. That's all I got to say. It's okay, I guess. I can't really, I'm not happy with it, but I'm not disappointed either. So you guys take it easy. Have a good one.